morning, church. It is so good to be here, be here with you on a Monday morning, starting off a new week with the sun shining through the window, reminding us of God's presence in our lives. I'm an optimistic person, and I was uh, yesterday was really was charged up with the idea that spring was really coming, and the snow we had from last week is all melted. And Ann and I were out walking in Thousand Hills State Park yesterday, and I couldn't help but be taken aback by the fact that all the shrubbery was, was, was leaving out, and the redbud trees were all aglow with their beautiful spring uh, adornment. Spring makes a big difference in our lives. And one of the things I'm thinking about in our time of quarantine like we are now, and so many people are stuck at home, is that this could be worse. We could be doing this heading into winter, and it's so much more encouraging to be walking through this with you in the springtime and thinking about how God makes all things new. And we don't know when what new will look like, but we know that God has promised us that he will never abandon us. I found a scripture I'd like to, to read for you. It comes from Isaiah chapter 43, it's verses 18 and 19. And the prophet says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Jesus used the metaphor of the agriculture of planting seeds so many different times in his lessons. This idea that we plant a seed in the ground with a hope and the assurance that a new plant will form. And I'm thinking about the farmers out there and the fact that you're waiting for the fields to dry and the soil to warm up enough that you can plant your seeds. I'm thinking of those who have new calves and new lambs being born. I'm thinking of those who are experiencing life at its most elemental level of new life coming to each of us. And that's what the Easter message is about. The Easter message is about new life, about resurrection, resurrection of our own lives, that how sometimes we feel like we're in a winter of discontent, and yet when summer com or spring comes, we see new hope and more sunshine and more brightness in our lives. There's a song that speaks of this that was, uh, came out in the late 80s, 1986. It was written by a, a composer named Natalie Sleeth, and it, it appeared in what is, we affectionately call the new hymnal that came out in the 80s. It's called Hymn of Promise. I'd like to share that with you this morning. In the bowl there is a flower In the seed an apple tree In cocoons a hidden promise Butterflies will soon be free In the cold and snow of winter there's a spring that waits to be Unrevealed until the season Something God alone can see There's a song in every silence Seeking word and melody There's a dawn in every darkness Bringing hope to you and me From the past will come the future but it holds a mystery unrevealed until it's season something God alone can see in our end is our beginning in our time infinity in our doubt there is believing in our life eternity in our death a resurrection at the last of victory unrevealed until the season something god alone can see and the end is our beginning a new life is ahead go and celebrate the day that you have and enjoy yourself and your time and each other and reach out to someone in need. Go in peace. Amen.